Hey Dave, how are you today? Good, how are you? What are we learning about today? Today we're gonna focus on real-time collaboration sharing for Jupyter Notebooks from within Notable. That sounds about right? Yes, let's learn about it. Sounds good. So one thing that's really important and a big pitfall of Jupyter Notebooks uh, that you run locally or in the cloud when you use an instance of Jupyter Hub is the lack of consistency and maintaining really a session as well as the in-memory state of your um, executions. So the big issue is gonna be if you want to, to run an instance of Jupyter, for instance, uh, you cannot collaborate with others. And as you reload your page, you're gonna lose the execution because everything is stored in front end. Mm -hmm. With Notable, we moved everything to the back end uh, years ago already. Uh, we have a sidecar running, we have uh, everything that's managed with Kubernetes. And what we enable is really that secure environment uh, we would decouple the, the back end from the front end and maintain all the states in the back end. That allows you really to access an hardware session of your choice, like CPUs, GPUs, connect to it. And if ever you drop from your connection, you're on the train, or you need to reload your page, those executions are still happening behind the scene and you can always go back to them. So you can have a long running jobs of 12 hours without this fear of losing that um, that execution or the in-memory state that you always can connect back to. And so it's a quick question, because I know this is a big um, pain point I've seen in the past too. That long running session, can that even produce outputs that when, you're, when your browser is closed, you can go back and see later? Yeah, so we can do that. There is, for example, a, a common pitfall with IPAR widgets um, that's being used uh, and uh, the state is stored in the front end. And the big issue is you can collaborate around it as you reload your page, the widget disappears. You have to rerun uh, the cell to have the widget appear again. We solve all of those challenges, even with our form cells and our own set of widgets, you can collaborate in real time on them. And as you reload the page, and they will still be there saving a lot of time in terms of compute. And of course, of waiting those cells to be rerun every time you open that notebook. Very cool. Cool. So here you see Notable, which is a collaborative workspace. Uh, think, think in terms of Google Doc. Uh, you can share everything from spaces to projects to individual files. You cannot just only collaborate on notebooks, but also on files, CSV, images, and whatever makes sense to you as part of your data project. As you can see, I have a bunch of people here. Dave, that I'm talking to uh, during this webinar, is an owner as well of this space. We're going to go into one specific project. Um, and then one specific, specific notebook called Notable Overview. This notebook just really gives you a nice uh, outline of what you can do in Notable. Uh, what's the focus of today is really that sharing button. Uh, so if you are familiar, like I said, with Google Doc, Quip, Notion, or the solution, very similar experience, a lot of granularity of what you can do and with who. Um, as you can see, Dave here is not in that list because he's part of the space. So Dave has an executor access when I'm the owner of the notebook. So now if I share this link with Dave, uh, which I'm just doing now, he's going to be able to join that notebook in real time with me. As you can see, Dave here just joined the notebook. Now what I can do is really collaborate in real time with Dave. Dave here just joined his cells, and I'm going to ask him to start the kernel for me. I'm not touching at anything at all. You can see the kernel session being initiated here uh, with the Python 3 kernel with a small hardware. And as you see the kernel, coming, we are sharing that session in real time. So I can see the variable in my variable explorer on the left here being created as Dave is playing with the notebook. Now I can override the change he made and say facilities equal five in that Python cell here. I can rerun that and we'll both see that value being updated in the in-memory state of the kernel. But now I can't update that value, why not? Because you are just an executor. So the way to do it now is really providing the right level of access to the people that you are working with. So I'm going to move Dave to be a contributor, uh, like all the other five people part of that space. And now what I can do, Dave, as he's refreshing his page, is going to be able to actually change the code, change the markdown, change whatever he wants on top of executing the code. So now Dave can make a change to that value. And facility equal five is now facility equal 100. You see the value being updated. Now I can watch Dave doing changes, working on this notebook in real time. So you can see him here. We're going to follow him along. He's on this SQL cell. What are you going to do, Dave? I want to change the colors of that map there. There we go. I like that. I like that Great. A little bit so you saw in real time what Dave went through. 
use our data explorer experience. Um, you don't have to rerun the SQL cell because, like I said, we save all the states. Um, so the output was already here. He's doing a zoom right now into uh, the corner left of the states. And what I can do is my by myself go there as well and change the formatting and just create it himself. So I can go make an edit, uh, change the color of this, and change the condition formatting by myself as well. So that's how you're going to collaborate in real time or async uh, with your teammates or with your stakeholders uh, from within the Jupyter Notebook using Notable.